Digital planners are making a ton of money online. So I wanted to get in the game and start making these planners. But a lot of times when I go to Canva, I'll just stare at the blank screen and think, all right, where do I even start? So I jumped into Canva and started creating my own template library, something that was super easy to update with just a few clicks. I was able to create multiple different digital planners in little time, thanks to this template system. I also wanted to include different types of pages like productivity, wellness, lifestyle, even note pages. I even designed a few different table of contents pages just to have some variety. So I created my starter kit to help cut out countless hours, if not days of work and kickstart my digital planner shop. If you're interested in starting your own shop or even just creating your own planners, check out the link in the description. Now let me walk you through how to quickly customize these templates so you can make your own unique digital planners. So this first template is an undated planner. It comes with year Yearly, monthly, weekly, and even daily pages. And there's also multiple lifestyle pages at the end, as well as note pages. So this one is a super easy one to customize. All of the tabs are linked already. All you have to do is change the colors and fonts. And let me show you a quick way of how I do this. So I'm gonna go to a website called colorpalettes.net. It includes tons of really beautiful color palettes that you could easily just screenshot and upload it to Canva. I like to look for palettes that have some really light colors, some good accent colors, some deep colors. So what I usually like to do is just take a screenshot through my computer of a palette like this, and then I will add it to my Canva design right here. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I wanna lock some of these elements. So that way when I switch out the colors, some of these elements won't be affected. Like this paper, this white paper back here, I'm actually gonna right click lock and then I'm gonna select my screenshot, right click, apply colors to page. So as you can see, all of the colors have been applied to the page. And if you keep clicking apply colors to page, it will shuffle through the colors on the page. So I really like this design right here. It's very easy to read. So I'm gonna delete this. And I'm also going to select this color and just make it a little lighter. So that way we could read that text up here. So I have a quick little trick to update the fonts. So if you go to the design tab, click styles, and then go all the way down to font sets, see all. If you select the fonts, all of the fonts on the page will change. And this way you could test out different fonts super quickly. So I really like this style, and then I'm gonna click apply to all pages. So if I scroll down, all the pages now have those updated fonts. So now I wanna apply these colors to all of the other pages. So I'm just gonna select the background of that next page, click the background color, add new color, grab the little eyedropper tool, and then select that color. So now you see this changes. Before you deselect, go to change all at the bottom. So now it changed all of the backgrounds on all of the pages. We're gonna select on the little tab, click color, and that new tab color is now in our color palette. So we're just gonna select it, click change all. So now all of the tabs have been updated. And we're gonna do that to all the other elements on the page. So this little bar up here is now beige. So while this is selected, I'm going to select the beige color and click change all. And as you can see, everything is changing super quickly. So this saves us tons of time. And then you wanna go through and make sure all of the colors are updated throughout the entire design. So if we click grid view at the bottom, we'll see everything has been updated. So you might have to go in and update a few additional items, but this definitely saves you a ton of time. You could even go in and customize the binder rings to kind of make it match the style. And if there's something that didn't get picked up, like this particular binder ring is still white, you could select the previous binder ring, click on copy style and select that. So that's just a really quick way to update anything that hasn't been changed. And then for the cover, you could easily just add an image over here so I'm going to look up a turquoise image that goes really well with the tabs. Since the original color palette had a beach theme, I'm actually going to look for a beachy image. So that way everything is nice and consistent. And then I'm just going to delete these two pages up here. So we were able to customize this design really quickly. Let's go ahead and make a few copies. So I'm actually going to 
click make a copy and I want to find another color palette. So, so I'm going to go back to colorpalettes.net and just find a different color palette. So again, we want to look for color palettes that have a variety of hues and nothing too strong. So I'm going to select this color palette. It has some really nice variations of colors added to my copy and make sure to lock your paper. So select your color palette, right click, apply colors to page. And then just keep clicking on that until you find a good color palette combination that works for you. So this one is kind of nice. So I'm going to delete this. I'm going to go back to design under styles, font sets, and then test out some font sets to see what works with this color palette. So this one is nice. It goes with that elegant design and I'm going to click apply to all pages. So now the font has been updated and then I'm just going to go ahead and apply these colors to this next page. So select the background, go to background color and pick up that color. Click change all. I'm going to do the same with the tabs, select the tabs. So it looks like it's picking it up right here. We're going to click change all this color right here. Click change all. And if we go to grid view at the bottom right, we could see that all of the colors and fonts have been updated. So let's go ahead and edit this cover page. So I want to apply the same font style to this. So I'm just going to select this font, go to copy style. And then I'm going to go under effects and change negative 61 to 61. And let's find a really nice cover for this. So we were able to create two different planner designs super quickly. So let's say we want to change out this cover to something else. I'm actually going to go under my additional planner page designs, select this one, and then I'm just going to click and drag over the cover and the text right here. I'm just going to delete this and then paste it. We're going to just bring that binder to the front. I would just ignore these little squares because this is an eight and a half by 11 design. Canva basically wants you to print this. So this would be where the spirals would go. So this is just on the design only. You don't have to actually worry about it. So let's update this pink color to this beige. And then this font, we're going to change it. Click change all. I'm actually going to click and drag over this to make it lowercase to change the caps. And then I'm going to select this while holding shift on my keyboard so I could select all of them and just move it over a bit. So you'll probably have to adjust a few things according to the fonts because each font is a different size. I'm just going to make it a little larger. These are the different types of covers I've included. You can even update the index page. I have additional yearly, monthly, daily, and weekly pages. And then I also have a 2025 calendar. So let's say I want to add these productivity pages to my 2025 calendar. So I'm going to click and drag over these. So they start right here but I'm actually picking up these. We could easily delete these. So make sure these are all selected by clicking and dragging. I'm going to command C or control C on my keyboard to copy. So make sure you're in the grid view when you do this. Let's go back to our 2025 calendar. Make sure you're in the grid view and then command V or control V on your keyboard. And while they're all still selected, I'm just gonna click and drag them down here. So now my 2025 calendar has these extra productivity pages. Just going to delete the extra ones that came in the daily schedule. Okay. And then you would just go in and apply the fonts. So this particular font is Bodoni FLF. I'm going to select the original font, the seasons, change that, and then go to change all. So now every instance of the seasons has been updated. And then I'm also going to change the color of the tabs to the green. We're going to select the pink and then apply that color, change all. 
and then I'm just going to change these to white. And then we're just going to make sure that background color is also updated throughout. So we were able to apply those new fonts and colors from those new pages onto this original planner. So now we have a 2025 planner, an undated planner, as well as another undated planner with additional colors and fonts. So you could go ahead and resell each of these templates with different colors and different covers. I did include a detailed walkthrough showing how to customize all of these as well as how to import them to GoodNotes. You'll also get mock-up listing templates so you could easily sell these planners in your shop. It also comes with tons of freebies. So I include my Etsy mock-up kit where you could easily just click and drag your new planner pages onto banners, mock-up listings, receipt banners, and have a fully branded Etsy shop ready to go. Click on the link in the description if you're interested in saving tons of time and creating your own digital planner templates fast.